guys. Uh, today we are talking about Kumihimo. And um, so I have made up these kits, these Kumihimo kits. Um, and in the kit, there's everything to make a Kumihimo bracelet. And so uh, let's begin. So excited. This is a very, very fun technique. So Kumihimo is an ancient Japanese art form. So it was used to embellish and adorn. And um, these days, it is a lot of fun and it's rather popular right now. Um, I've been doing Kumihimo for a lot of years and um, the basic materials are pretty simple. So in your kit, you get a Kumihimo disc. So a Kumihimo disc looks like this. Um, it has the little slots that we're gonna use to put our cording in. And um, yeah, so you have one of these. You can you, you can make tons of Kumihimo now. And um, also in your kit, there is some fun cording. So let's talk about cording for a little bit. Um, I have used a ton of different cording um, and you can too. So what I've included in your kit is one millimeter waxed cotton cording. And um, I put this in your kit for a couple of reasons. One, <laughs> it's trendy right now. It's super cute, cute colors. Um, it's going to make this bracelet. So a little bit um, thinner of a bracelet, which is kind of trendy right now. And um, the waxed cording um, makes it simple to work with. It's a little bit different feel to it, you'll notice, um, but it really is very easy to work with and easy to finish off. So that's why I chose this for this um, beginner Kumahimo kit. Um, I have also used, so I think what's most important is that you use cording. So you can try and use whatever you want. I've found that yarn um, frays a lot or comes um, undone and then it's kind of fuzzy. So I don't like yarn to use, but it is something that a lot of people have laying around. So maybe you want to try it just for fun. See how it works for you. Um, traditionally, um, Kumihimo, a lot of Kumihimo jewelry is made with something called rat tail cording. And rat tail cording is um, a silky cording, so it kind of has a sheen to it. And um, that's just traditionally what you find. So if you want to search for some different cording, rat tail is something that you'd want to search for. So the cording you're working with is one millimeter and the bracelet, so I have some bracelets that I have made. So this one's really cute and this one's pretty cute. This one is more of like a, a straw kind of cording and this one is just 100% cotton, not waxed cording, very cute too. And these are more like two millimeter. So depending on the thickness you get, um, you're gonna be using eight strands of this to create a Kumahimo cord. And so um, the bigger you get, it's just going to be that much bigger when it's finished. Like this one's pretty thick. Okay, this one too is just, um, this was just 100% cotton cord, not waxed. So um, it's fun to get different materials. Take a look at what they have out there. You can find them, you know, everywhere. A lot of times in the craft department at stores, um, they'll have, you know, just like twine or um, different kinds of things in different, in different locations that you can use for Kumahimo braiding, okay? So that's a little bit um, about the cording that we're gonna use. Um, also in your kit is, oh, instructions. So a little picture of how you put it on um, the disc and then instructions here, okay? And then you will also get to finish off um, our braided cord to become a bracelet. We have a clasp in here, 
We have E6000 glue and a toothpick. And that's all you need for this kit to create a bracelet. So with that, let's get going. All right, what you are going to start with is you are going to unknot your cord. It's pretty easy, so just do it um, slowly. But it shouldn't, I just put a couple of knots in there to gather it for you. So we're gonna take that apart. Now you are gonna go and um, find something little and heavy. And so I recommend like your car keys or a set of keys, um, something small um, that's heavy-ish that you can tie the end of your kumahimo um, cording onto, okay? We need to create a weight on the one end. So this is a project I'm working on. Um, and you can see I have a set of car keys tied to the end. So this is what we wanna do, okay? So I am going to do that. Anything kind of heavy-ish that you can tie around. So this pink color is so cute, isn't it? I love it. I haven't made one using this color yet, and so I'm excited. Okay, so you wanna make um, your cords the same length at the ends. Okay, make them all the same, like so. This um, cording that I gave you is 30 inches long and eight strands. So you always need eight strands when you're making a kumihimo um, braid. And um, they say that you should have use three inches of cording for every inch of finished braid. Okay, so we're making a bracelet. I've, made, I've given you plenty of cording for a bracelet. Some of you might even want to make an anklet. I thought that could be fun for summer. Um, but so I have figured seven inch bracelet is standard, seven to eight inches. And so times three would be um, 21 to 24 inches. And then I like to give a little extra, like we have to knot it off on the end, right? And then, um, yeah, just in case depending on if you want, you don't want to run out. If we, if you run out and it's too short, there's no fix to it. You begin again. <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. Okay. So, um, we're just going to put a knot at the end here and make it as far down at the end of your cording as possible. You don't want to use up cording for your knot. So just have the little just amount necessary at the end. Okay, so this is what our one end is going to look like. And then our other end, we're going to put on our disc. So you're going to take your kumahimo disc and you're going to put the cording up through the center like so. And then you are going to bring your the knot and your weight right at that hole opening. Okay, now you're gonna make an X with your cording. So two cords are gonna go north, south, east, and west. Okay? So I'm just gonna take and put it in the slots like so. Okay, it's over here. Looks just like the picture. So I feel like this is a little bit like knitting. You know, you get into the groove. Eventually you'll get into the groove where it'll just be second nature um, to do this. And then it's just kind of a fun activity for whenever when you just wanna do something, but um, 
you want to just, just sit around, but you want to do something. This is a fun thing to do. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And then you can adjust it. So make sure it's tight. Your knot is in the center. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. And then when you put it in, if you notice that your cords are maybe not, like if they're twisted, untwist them. So maybe I should put, in this case, I should flip these two. So it lays nice. Okay, so it comes out of that knot flat and not twisted or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one up too. It's kind of twisty in there. So the numbers I never use, um, we're just gonna keep it simple. So I'm just telling you north, south, east, and west. Okay, that's it. We're just gonna keep it real simple. I feel like that's the best thing. All right, when you have it like this, you are ready. So let's talk about what we're gonna do. We are going to do the same thing over and over and over. Super easy, okay? Okay guys, I've switched the camera so we're both looking at this the same way. So um, what we're going to do, this is all we do the entire time we're making our kumahimo braid, is we take our bottom right hand cord and we move it up to the slit to the right of the top right hand cord, okay? And then we take our left, top left hand cord, take it out and move it down to the bottom left, okay? Then our last, um, the last thing we do is we turn it to the left so we turn it counterclockwise a quarter turn. So I'm gonna go like this. So the next time, so each time I turn it a quarter turn, you're gonna be going to the next set of chords, the next pair of chords, okay? So let's try it again. Bottom right hand chord moves up to the top right hand and the top left-hand cord gets moved down to the bottom left. Turn one quarter, turn counterclockwise, okay? Bottom right moves to top right. Top left moves to bottom left, turn. Bottom right moves to top right. Top left moves to bottom left. Turn. Okay, let's keep doing it. Now, um, your cording, it's pretty long, so it's gonna get tang wanna get tangled up, so I sometimes just you're gonna have to go like this or it's gonna get very tangled, okay? So let's begin again, okay? Bottom right cord moves to top right. Top left moves to bottom left. Turn. Bottom right, top right. Top left goes to bottom left. Turn. Bottom right goes to top right. Bottom left, top left, excuse me, top left moves to bottom left. Turn. So if we were drawing a arrow, the arrow would start at the bottom right and it would come up to here it would move over and then it would come down right so we're just going like this okay a little bit more bottom right top right top left 
bottom left. If I'm saying this wrong, it's what I'm doing that matters, right? <laughs> okay, I hope I haven't done that. Quarter turn counterclockwise, bottom right, moves to top right. Top left, moves to bottom left. Turn. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you um, as you're going, this is what's going to happen. So I put, this is a different project that I'm have in process. So the cord is going to begin to form with the weight pulling it down through your center. Okay, and it's going to get longer and longer and longer. So it's really fun. All right, um, I wanted to give you another tip. When you are, let's say you have to set your kumihimo down to do something, go figure, right? Um, then you pick it up and you have no idea where you are at. So this is just an easy trick for that. So when you are beginning, you begin by taking your bottom right, and bring it up to your top right, right? That's your first step. Always leave it in this position when you stop. So then when you pick it up to do more, you can be like, oh, you know where you are because you have the three there and that's your first step, okay? That's just a kind of a nice little hint. Okay guys, so now we are going to talk about how to finish your kumihimo braid off. Okay, so you are going to be braiding and you're gonna be braiding and you're going to be braiding like I'm doing here with this one. Okay, so you are going to get a long cord like so. All right, so when you think it's long enough or you can braid your entire um, cording and braid all of it um, for fun if you're liking it and just for practice, so when you're done, then you are going to want to take it off of your weight, okay? Take it off of your weight, unknot it, and then take it off of your disc, okay? Take it all off, okay. So then you have something like this. So I'm gonna make this into a bracelet, all right? Now in your kit, you have a little plastic bag um, like this and it has E6000 glue and it has a toothpick and it has your clasp okay and it has a um, paper towel or a napkin something like that so what I have found that is most important is to get be totally prepared before you begin this okay so what I like to do is put um, your napkin down, all right, and then lay out your glue and your toothpick. So let's talk about your little clasp for a minute. This clasp is a magnetic clasp, okay? It has a little ball right here that locks. So how this works is you 
twist it and you pull it apart, okay? It's very awesome. I love these clasps. So you are going to be keeping this together. Don't take it apart, keep it together. All right, you're gonna work, be working on it just like this. All right, I've got to get ready to work here. I'll tip this down a little bit. You see better what I'm doing. Okay, so what we are going to do is we all set up. Now your E6000 glue, this glue is amazing if you haven't used it before. Um, it's kind of stinky. And so use just a tiny bit of it. Be in a well-ventilated um, area. Okay, um, this has a, it's going to be not open for you. So in the back of this um, cap, there's a little um, sharp thing to puncture that. So do that, puncture that. And so the glue can come out, okay? So just leave that with the top on, but ready to go. So now you're gonna decide the size of bracelet you want to make, okay? So what I like to do, and everybody, this is the fun of making a piece of jewelry, right? Everybody likes it to fit a little bit differently. So I like my bracelets to fit a little bit, probably tighter. You can make it as loose or tight as you want. A good rule of thumb is that you want to be able to put a finger a finger in between your bracelet and your wrist, okay? So let's start by um, finishing, beginning on our one end, all right? So what you wanna do, so you're gonna have an end that has, well, both ends are going to have extra cord that isn't braided, so we're gonna cut that off. Now, the reason that I got you waxed cording is because it sticks together really good. And so you want to have it stuck together very tight um, when you're putting your clasp on. And so this does that for you, all right? It's gonna be easy. So we're going to cut this. We're gonna actually cut it on both sides. So when you're ready to put your clasp on, you're ready to put it on both ends and you'll be done all right so i am going to snip it off actually i'm going to snip it off i have an imperfection there where you can see that loop so i'm going to snip it off right there okay now it kind of instantly wants to fray out okay it wants to come undone again the reason i use the wax cording is it's easy to just press it together Okay, so then you're just going to carefully measure the other side of this, okay, how you want it to be, and then you're going to cut the other side. I'm doing something fun with this one. I'm going to leave half of this loose. It's going to be kind of cute. You are gonna take your E6000 and you are gonna put just a tiny dot of glue in there. I got too much actually. So I'm gonna put this, take that off, that glue off, because I just want a tiny bit in there like so. Then you're gonna stick your end in. Press this together, press this together, press this together, okay? And then stick it in there. Perfect. Okay, so if you have any little strands that do not want to go in, then um, just poke them in with your toothpick, okay? Your cord is gonna be, it's, it'll be just the right fit for this 
clasp, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around and you're gonna do the other one. So I would do this on a tabletop, this next step. So you're gonna do the same thing. Mine will be a little bit trickier. First, we're gonna put just a, the teeniest amount of glue. Now, when you're moving this around, make sure you are holding the end that you've already glued so it doesn't come undone. E6000 takes about 24 hours to dry. Okay, so when we're done with this, we're gonna need to set it aside for a day. All right, I'm gonna put, stick my other end in like this. This is cute. Okay. Let's see how both my ends are. Let's see if I can show you. Like this. Okay. Now, we set it aside for one day. And tomorrow, when you get up, then you can wear a really, really cool Kumahimo bracelet. So exciting. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you love this so much. Um, if you want to share pictures, that would be fabulous. So Jen Anfinson Studio on YouTube. I'm on YouTube for my videos and I am on Facebook. You can share pictures and stuff on Facebook if you would like. I hope you keep creating. I hope you keep doing things with Kumihimo and lots of other things. I have lots of videos for you guys to watch if you would like. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.